Everybody, this is the latest edition of Yankees Post Game Plus. I'm Bob Lorenz. On Saturday, the Yankees played game three of four in Cleveland, where a pitching matchup of aces lived up to its billing. Garrett Cole and Shane Bieber both went seven innings while combining to record 20 strikeouts. And in the end, Cole and the Yanks came out on top. Going to pick up action in the top of the fifth. The Indians have a one nothing lead. They scratched out a run in the inning prior against Cole. But then Aaron Hicks off Shane Bieber gets a fastball and makes him pay. Solo shot ties the game at one. And then two batters later, Rugned Odor is going to hit one deep to the basically the same part of the park. And that gives the Yanks a two to one lead. And that allows Garrett Cole to lock it down and go to work. Bottom of the seventh facing Josh Naylor. He will get him for his 11th strikeout of the game. Cole was absolutely terrific. Just three hits allowed, that one run over seven. Yankees win it 2-1, to one, with Aaron Boone staying away from Aroldis Chapman and Chad Green. Jonathan Loisiga finished the game for his first career save. The only run allowed by Cole occurred in the fourth inning when Eddie Rosario drove in Jose Ramirez, who tripled on a ball that looked like it could have been a home run if not for Aaron Judge getting a glove on it. Afterwards, our Meredith Morakovitz asked Cole how he was able to buckle down and prevent further damage in the middle innings. I think we just made some good pitches when we had to. Um, you know, it's a little bit of that was my own doing. Again, some three ball counts. Uh, I'd, I'd like to clean up sooner rather than later. Um, you know, but we were convicted of some pitches and some situations where they were going to be aggressive, and you know, we executed and. and you know, fortunately, some things went our way. You know, some hard contact to Rugi twice, I think, or three times possibly. Um, you know, made a really good play. Um, and so, you know, we got a bit fortunate in those situations, um, you know, but ended up with a lot of good pitches. Did you think Judge had that ball in the fourth? Yeah, it was, he had a good beat on it, to be honest. I mean, um, so I, I was, you know, I was pretty, uh, it was supposed to be a backdoor curveball. You know, left it up, kind of fluttered. Posey was, you know, all over it, put a good swing on it. Um, you know, maybe maybe got into under it just a tick, and, and I was thankful Aaron was able to pull it back in, and, and we were able to minimize after that. Three straight wins, four out of your last five. Is there just a different feel around this team right now as things are heading in the right direction? I think we're I think we're pleased with you know especially how we've we've been answering um, you know we start to really string uh, competitive innings together uh, as a group uh, both on the mound uh, you know things are in, things are in sync to a certain extent you know give up a run answer back answer back good shutdown inning um, so you know when you start to see trends like that um, you know you're 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 able to be able to put yourself in a good position to win the ball game. Well, the Yankees will try to complete a four-game sweep in Cleveland Sunday afternoon. 12 o'clock is the start time for coverage on Yes and the Yes app. I'm Bob Lorenz. Thanks for watching Yankees Post Game Plus.